awesome God, that's who you are. I want to appreciate God for the gift of life to see another day in the land of the living. My name is Akikumi Thomas. I am a privileged pastor of one of our parishes of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in the UK called Living Bread, Newcastle. And today we'll be looking at the open heavens as uttered by the general verse of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Ia Deboye. And our topic today is talking to Jesus. A Bible passage is taken from Matthew chapter 6, verse 5 to 13. And when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets, that they may be seen by men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you pray, go into your room. And when you have shut your door, pray to your father, who is in the secret place. And your father, who sits in secret, will reward you openly. And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the Eden do. For they think that they will be heard for their many words. Therefore, do not be like them. For your father knows the things you have need of before you ask him. In this manner, therefore, pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as you forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. A memory verse is from Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. Ask and it will be given you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. God is so wonderful that he has given us instructions concerning every aspect of life, even how to talk to him. There is no reason to be confused about how to pray when instructions have been given to you. Verse 9 of our Bible passage says, In this manner, therefore pray. We are then told the correct format for prayer. We are even told how not to pray. We are told not to use vain repetitions. This is when phrases are repeated over and over. God has ears to hear once. And he also knows when we are praying from the heart and when we are just repeating words. Even the Lord's prayer as it is, is called, is often just repeated and recited as a rhyme when it was supposed to be used as a template for prayer. Children are taught to recite the Lord's prayer without really understanding what they are reciting. Some parents feel that if they can get their children to recite some Bible verses, that they will make it to heaven. The only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ. You cannot get to heaven through practicing religion, rather by having a relationship with Jesus. If you have a genuine relationship with him, praying will not be difficult because you are talking to a friend and the Holy Spirit will also help you. Romans chapter 8, 26 says, and the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. For example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for, but the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. In today's daily devotion, Pastor Adeboye also instructed us according to Scripture who we should pray for. We should pray for the sick, those in authority, children, youths, elders, pray for your enemies, for safety of yourself and others, that his will will be done, and the second coming of Christ. You can see that there is a lot to pray about. Why not start today? And as you start to pray today, prayer will become a lifestyle to you. You will become a giant in the realm of the Spirit, and your life will never remain the same. I want you to know that the place of prayer is a place of divine encounter with God. And as you pray, and you cultivate the habit of praying, you will encounter God, and your life will never remain the same. Our prayer point is this. Using the suggested prayer points, pray persistently for 30 minutes. And as you do that, God is going to bless you, and he will smile on you, and your life will never remain the same. Have a glorious day today. The Lord bless you. Bye for now. See you again.